Well, hello, welcome to another installment of the Milani Minute videos. Today we are wrapping up the first week, this two weeks, on the topic of sin. So we will finish all the first 10 questions. There's 20 total. So next week, or excuse me, the next time that you see me in these videos, uh, we'll go through the second set of questions uh, on sin. So the first 10 questions we've talked about, Adam and Eve remaining perfect, sinless, and content, and how they didn't because they were sinful, uh, about why Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the tree. We asked who the devil is. We know that he is also called Satan. He's a fallen angel who wants to take glory from God. We asked the question of why, uh, or excuse me, how does the devil try to take glory from God. We know that he tries to steal or take glory from God by lying, stealing, killing, and destroying. Uh, we asked if the devil will win, and very clearly, no, he's already lost. Um, we've asked who's responsible for Adam and Eve eating the fruit and what happened to them. Uh, we know that they're responsible for their own sin. They knew the truth and they didn't follow. They didn't obey. They disobeyed. And then we know that because they disobeyed, they were sinful and separated from God when they disobeyed him. So that leads us to today, three quick questions that we're going to move through, uh, talking about uh, what God said would happen to each person that was involved. So we have the serpent, we have Eve, and then we'll wrap it up with Adam. So the first question you can talk with your children about uh, for today's video is, what did God say would happen to the serpent for his part or its part in the first sin. Okay, one more. What did God say would happen to the serpent for its part in the first sin? Well, God said the serpent would be more cursed than any other animal. He would be more cursed than any other animal. If you remember the, the um, creation story and then the fall of man, Genesis chapter 3, uh, the serpent is told that he will crawl on his belly. His legs will be removed and he'll be forced to crawl on his belly and taste the dust of the earth for all of its days. Um, it was very, very cursed. Uh, we look at snakes today and we say, you know, oh, I, I, don't, I don't know about you, I don't like snakes. Uh, whenever I see a snake, I, I just... I can't stand snakes just because, I, I don't know, I guess I'm afraid of them. Um, but one of the beautiful things about living in Hawaii is there are no snakes here. There's a snake, but it's not, not a real snake. And so, um, but anyway, we talk about serpents and serpents are pretty hated animals. Um, not many people like snakes. And there's some that say, no, I love snakes. They're awesome. But more power to you. Um, but for us, we look at the serpent and we remember um, there's a story about a serpent who was told he is going to be more cursed than any other animal. So he was punished for that. The serpent itself was punished. Now the devil, obviously, he didn't stay in the form of a serpent. He's moved on. Um, but the snake, the serpent, it remains cursed. What did God say would happen to Eve for her part in the first sin? Again, what would happen, what did God say would happen to Eve for her part in the first sin? Now I realize these answers are going to be a little bit simplified, um, but just go with us here. Uh, we're teaching our children about truth. God said there will be punishment when you sin. What was the punishment for Eve? God said that Eve would have increased pain in giving birth and that her relationship with Eve or excuse me, that her relationship with Adam, sorry, uh, would become difficult. So one more time, sorry I messed that up. Uh, what did God say would happen to Eve for her part in the first sin? God said Eve would have increased pain giving birth and her relationship with Adam would become difficult. There's an order to things. There's a reason why God created the man and then brought the woman in. Uh, and I know culturally it's not a popular opinion, but the truth is we believe in, in gender roles because of the creative order, because of what God did. And there's a reason why he created in the order that he did and the reason for how he chose to uh, assign roles. Well, that, those roles would become confused because of sin. And so Eve would have animosity toward Adam. 
and the woman over the man and having the re that relationship becoming difficult. So not only would there be increased pain in childbirth, but there would also be uh, difficulty in that human relationship. Uh, what did God say would happen to Adam for his part in the first sin? God said Adam would have to work hard to produce food to eat. Now, I, I know what you're probably saying, well, that doesn't seem fair, right? Uh, Eve has increased pain in childbirth. She has difficulty in her human relationships. And then Adam, well, Adam, you're, you're going to have to work hard. By the sweat of your brow, you will have to till this land. You'll have to work this land. And this land won't be forgiving. This land will be hard. There will be thorns. There will be cuts and bruises and scrapes. And there will be pain and torment and frustration. So Adam isn't completely off the hook. Uh, but Adam's Adam's uh, punishment is that he will have to work the land and he will struggle. He will toil uh, with this land and it will be a struggle for him. So both Adam and Eve have consequences. You, you might say Eve seemed worse and she was the first to sin. You might seem Adam seemed simplified. Well, there's, there's far more that goes into his struggle. Uh, you know, his relationship with God, first and foremost, his relationship with God was, was severed. He became sinful and separated from God. Uh, but thankfully, that's not the end of the story. Uh, as I said in an earlier video, we know that Jesus came to this earth, that he set that right relationship back in order by paying for our sins on the cross. Raising himself from the dead, or God raising him from the dead, that he ascended to be at the right hand of the Father. And right now, he is making intercession on our behalf we still see the effects of sin. I don't know about you, but it doesn't take long after you wake up in the morning to notice the effects of sin. They're all around us. Uh, sin has not left, but there's coming a day when it will be removed. It will be taken care of. And until that day, may we continue to teach our children about sin, about what it is, why it's bad, and how we should avoid it. The next series of videos uh, will be in a few weeks. We're going to take a, a little bit of a break for Christmas week as we do something a little different. Uh, we'll get back to the regular videos, and in my next set of videos, we'll, we'll continue on this topic of sin as we wrap up the final 10 questions on sin. I hope to see you then. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time.